Good morning, everyone. So the forecast today is calling for some ferociously powerful zombies. Insane difficulty, nightmare speed with double normal block damage. Not only that, but the cities are going to be infested with them, up to triple the normal amount of zombies in the cities. Luckily, we are out here in the countryside. We're gonna visit Crater Joel real quick this morning because he's gonna have a reward for us for the buried supplies we dug up yesterday. Please tell me it's gonna be some food. Uh, nope. No luck on that front. Do you think maybe the antibiotics might help though, or... Yeah, I don't really see any need for the shotgun shells. We'll take the antibiotics then. And would you look at that? He actually does have some stuff out to the east, which is much closer to where we live. Yeah, All right, I think what we'll do is we will stock up on these jobs to the no east. I'm going to cancel this job that's a, a fetch to the west. We can only do one fetch at a time, but we can stock up on as many clear jobs as we can yeah, get our we hands on. So we'll grab the yeah. fetch to the east this time. And tell me, buddy, that you got something to sell me to eat today, because I don't even know if I can survive the walk back home. He does have some chili dogs. Oh, what can we do for money, though? Really, not much. Enough to pay for two chili dogs, though. All right, well... Might as well get the hunger situation resolved. We are still going to be very much dehydrated. And I don't think there's a whole lot left to do around here. And you know what? We're almost out of gas too. So <laughs> we're honestly just in like the worst possible situation right now. Let's just go back to Dyersville and hopefully it won't be too infested there. I don't think it's, it's not too big of a city. So hopefully there won't be too much to deal with there. Let's just get a sense for how the zombies are moving though. Yeah, they're moving real fast. Oh my goodness, and there's a lot of them. Maybe there's a little bit of trickle from um, the cities out here is what it looks like. Look how fast Tommy's running. I, don't, I, can't, I can't even outrun Tommy, oh my God. Yep, yeah, okay, Th that thing I said about being safe in the countryside, not true. Well, on the way back, I did see this quest right here. Just kind of rolled past it. It wasn't my intent to do any questing today, but yeah, we might, we might need to dip in here and see if we can get some food or at least take a sip of water out of the pond there. Maybe I can just corral these zombies up with the lawnmower, <laughs> bring them over somewhere else where we don't have to deal with them. Yeah, this is too much right now. Five, six, seven zombies are on me right now. Great. Well, I managed to circle back safely. Ah, jeez. Okay, so first things first, we're going to have to drink some water here and it's going to make me sick probably. Come on, come on. There's gotta be some water here I can sip down. Apparently not. Well, well, let's try the lake over here. Maybe this is just a little bit cleaner. In fact, uh, no, no, I, I cannot drink any water right now. I guess I'm not that thirsty yet. Well, we do have a murky water. Jeez, I'll take it. And a cooler here. You know what? I have a yucca juice back at home and um, I really should have drank that. Although I'm doing okay so far. Yep, I'm thirsty, but uh, no dysentery. Okay, we are gonna have to take out that nurse zombie and I am gonna use every strategy that I know of to accomplish this safely. Hello, go ahead and just start the quest while I'm at it. Oh, <laughs> oh, my tricks. I'm so good at tricks, aren't I? There we go. Oh, that was like seven stabs, most of them to the head to kill her and she was on fire the entire time. Okay, we're gonna have a bad day. Well, that gives us a defensible location outside. We should be able to do some hatches for the inside. Just set that there, and anybody inside? Yep, there's one there. Let's get a sneak attack on him, and then we'll bring him right up to the doorway. There we go, ooh, just leveled up. Yep, perception level three, how's that sound? Anybody else downstairs? Kitchen, cooking pot, yes, okay. That means we can go home and start boiling water. Ooh, that is a good find. I would prefer not to go home empty-handed, though. So let's see if we can knock out this quest. It's a good start. Who else we got in there? Hello, Bo. I just keep looking behind me, because you see way over there, there's like three zombies, and they're just kind of lurking around out there, waiting for them to, for some reason, run over here, probably, at some point. All right. And the last zombie or zombies are upstairs. So we're all clear down here. Okay, let's just, oh, there's another zombie over there now. Yeah, they're just creeping right over. Okay, let's just shut ourselves in here, kind of. Ah, yes, chicken noodle soup, nice. All right, let's see if we can wrangle up these last couple of zombies up here. We'll just go with, uh, oh, nope, nope, nope. We're gonna go outside, I guess. I was gonna do the whole hatch thing upstairs, but careful, good zombies out here. 
But, um, yeah, there's some garbage right where I was going to put that hatch. Hey, oh, my. Why do we have so many? There's four. Um, I don't, <laughs> I can't do anything. Um, we'll just work on him here for now. Low threshold to move back to the pillar of safety over there. Good. Get some. Ooh. Ah, yes, they're through. Get back, Bo. Ah, I made it. I'm completely out of stamina, though. I just got to take a second here and catch my breath. Okay, no guns. No guns allowed. We've got lots of company around here. Ooh, the tricks that us survivors have to come up with to survive the current zombie landscape. Look, they're all over there next to the lawnmower as well. Great. Oh! They're coming up here to get me now. Oh, I'm on top of him. Okay. Um, I don't think that's a viable strategy. I can't run either. Come on, run, 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 run. I will run these zombies over if I have to. Get him! I got one of them, but I'm now bleeding. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, we might have to call this one a little bit of a bust at 9% fuel. If I run out of gas, I'm gonna die anyway. All right, we're gonna try it here. I've stopped bleeding, fortunately. Get up here, repair this. Okay, that's, well, I think one guy just either bled or something to death. And um, I think we have, whoops. One more POI zombie over there. Got him. I would take that painkiller I have if it wasn't for the already critical dehydration that I have. All right, there's another guy way out there. Get some sneak attack damage on him. Yeah, that was the one that <laughs> jumped. I was on top of his head. I was getting a zombie piggyback ride there for a minute. All right, zombie number three. Okay, whoop. Did you just dive out of this, the roof? Where is he anyway? I, I heard him jump out. Oh my goodness! Killer Joe almost got me! Oh my god, I'm down to five hit points. There we go. I did get the mission at least. Who else do we got? Oh, hello there. Desperate times call for desperate measures. There goes that painkiller. Okay. Quest is over. House is clear. Let's go get the main loot, and then I'm just basically gonna go home after that. I can't, I can't do this today. Yep, <laughs> that would be the spot they just carved their way out. Here we go, main loot chest. Uh, batter up book, bats and clubs degrade slower. A first aid kit, you know what? We have to do it. We have an abrasion anyway, that should heal that right up. Nice. And we're pretty much good as new. Armored up book there, I can't get into this, honestly. Why didn't he try to beat through this way and, and unlock the safe in the process, you know? Is that gonna take? Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Oh, I'm, I'm here, I might as well do it. And, uh, no, I'm out of stamina, so on second thought, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, we're in a tough spot. I don't think we have one kilometer to go and we have 8% fuel. Yeah, getting a wrench at some point today would be really nice. We'd be able to start getting a little bit of fuel while we're out and about. Whoa, wait a minute. Was that high performance running shoes? No way. Extra stamina regen when running. Nice. I couldn't think of a better day to have those than <laughs> today when the zombies are on an absolute tear. Okay, I have made it back to the base with 2% fuel remaining. In fact, I'm just gonna park it here. Don't even waste the gas going further inside. <laughs> Should have a little bit of gasoline in these rusty barrels here that I never searched, but that's not gonna be enough to do really anything at all. Let's just double check here. Gas it up. <laughs> Got to 3%. Oh, nice. Yep, I have never been so desperate for some water in my entire life. Okay, we can kick things off with the yucca juice. And we also have eight murky water here, which I should be able to start boiling up now. Thank goodness. Water. Nine of them. Boil. Okay. We'll be rehydrated here pretty soon. We've had a hearty breakfast, so we'll probably be able to set off in a little bit to do... Hmm, what are we going to do out here? Okay, we did get some jobs that were to the east of Joel, but they're still pretty far away from us. They're, they're not in the town, I should say. They're not too far away. We can head back over across the little river here and maybe see if we can scoop up this little fetch over here. Should be nice and easy. Won't have to kill all the zombies. And then, um, well, we're going to be on foot as well. So, oh, great. Get your ghillie suit on, because we're going to be doing a lot of sneaking later on. All right, I've just had my last water. That should get me topped off on hydration. I packed up the lawn tractor as if we're going to be driving this around today. <laughs> Here's all my sellable gear. We cannot drive anymore. We have to wait until we get a wrench, and then we can get some more gasoline. So we are now going to proceed on foot. We're going to head across the little river here down to this tier one fetch. Unless that's going to be in the bird biome, which isn't 
is not going to be too bad. Uh, we'll just scout it out nice and carefully. In fact, speaking of scouting, let's take off the heavy armor that I'm wearing. And that should give me a little bit of extra run speed in case I need to evade some zombies. Yep, what I tell you? Burnt biome with burnt zombies, which I guess they're not the worst enemies, but I'd rather have no enemies, right? At least today. You know, we do need to level up and everything and get XP, but it, it just ain't worth it. This spear here, it's going to take eight to ten hits to kill them, which is, you know, my entire stamina bar and then some. Oh, nope. Someone's on to me. Oh, great. Ah, this is not going to be good. Oh my god, he hits hard. I don't think I can take much more of this. Gotta do it. I gotta do this. Yep, because now there's two more of them on top of me. Well, I have to say, the spear in this configuration right here is ideal. Okay, a little bit of extra wood there. We've got a little bit of a booster pad right there. If there's a burnt zombie down here somewhere. And there is the quest. I just wanted... Oh, he's hung up in the barbed wire now. I'm gonna see if I can take care of this guy before we, you know, get in here and do this. There we go. Oh, <laughs> why? Okay, I can hear him catching up on me really fast. There we go. And pretty much, we have to hope that we can get this satchel without waking up a single zombie. What if there's a dog in here? If there's a dog in here, it's gonna be bad news. Here, <laughs> we'll just set a couple of these up at random intervals, you know? Make sure that we're perfectly safe here. Whoop, I... Woke somebody up. Oh, you. Hi there. There we go. That's what I've been looking for. Some good headshots. Also a Duke collector there, and there's like the most minute chance ever that I could pull a water filter out of that that's functional. Okay, things are actually not going too bad here so far. We got an upgrade at the stone axe. A little bit of fuel in there. You know, maybe like 0.5% on the fuel tank, but still. And I think somewhere in here is going to be the satchel. Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. Oh, Norman Quigg is guarding the way though. You think I can just sneak on by? Just try not to hit that garbage. Oh, Midnight Age is there too. Okay, I might just have to run here in just a second. There we go, I made it past. Oh, I fell into the barbed wire a little bit. Careful, and hopefully this doesn't make too much sound here. Got it. And nice and quietly. Okay. Well, forge ahead. <laughs> where did where did it go? Jeez. The, the thing must have been just ancient. It just evaporated when I touched it. All right. Well, from here, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Hey, we made it. And you know, these back roads here are surprisingly quiet. I mean, as it should be, right? But um, we do have zombies a plenty lurking outside of this compound. I can see five. I'm gonna make a run for it. I have a few minutes left on the steroids. I think I can run faster than most of these guys, at least if I get a little bit of a head start, but that is business band right on my right there and Bo on the other side, and those guys are fast. I did make it though, good. And we'll simply exit out the other side <laughs> when we're done here in a second. Hey, Trader Joel, long time no see, buddy. What do we got here? Oh my goodness, 12 gauge flechette darts? That sounds terrific, but um, really not my forte right now. I'll take the 762 and then we'll take the water. Right, let's uh, just check the inventory here and do a quick sell off. All right, it puts us up to two grand, which is really not that bad. Do you think we should probably just buy some of this forged iron here? We need the wrench, and for that we need forged iron. 12 of it. All right, it's gonna be a little bit pricey. 12 forged iron is gonna cost me 400 coin. I'll take it. And I believe that'll just about do it for today. We have plenty more missions to do with him, just as long as the uh, this infestation quiets down a little bit that we're currently afflicted by. Yeah, okay, here's our company on the east gate. Which means I'm going to the west gate. Okay, uneventful trip back. I probably killed uh, three or four zombies. No big deal. Let's uh, hop inside here and check the status of everything. Get everything packed up and put away. And then we'll get ready for Horde Night, which is coming very soon. We got a couple of hours. I can't even do the wrench because I don't have the mechanical parts too. Okay, so we'll have to try to hit up a garage somewhere and see if we can get like some... Um, Working stiff tool boxes or cardboard boxes, really. Oh, there's a, actually a site, a construction site POI that's in town here. I guarantee you that place has some mechanical parts. Basically just going to eat the last of my food here. We do have quite a bit of meat and I picked up a ton of eggs today. That's the one benefit of doing long distance traveling on foot is that you can get the bird nests. I don't have anything else to do right now, so... 
<laughs> once more into town here. I am going to look and see if I can find that construction site and see if I can just yank out a couple of, um, well, one, a forge head book would be nice, and two, yeah, definitely getting a, like two more mechanical parts would be great. Kind of a game changer. Then we get the wrench, and then we have access to everything else we need. It looks like things have died down here. If I'm being honest, I don't, I mean, I see a couple of zombies, but nothing like what we had earlier. Yeah, there's just, there's absolutely no way I can go toe to toe with zombies out in the street like this. Ah, now I can see some zombies trickling out. Where y'all been hiding anyway? Whoop. I just fell down, and we're gonna see exactly why. <laughs> I, I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with zombies right there. All right, I gotta see if I can avoid Mo over there though. Okay, here's the construction site area. This is probably gonna have what we need. We just, we have to be in an absolute hurry here to get this stuff and get out of here. Here, give me a little booster pad. Has nobody seen me yet? That is amazing. <laughs> well, there's the cement mixer over here. A crawler has seen me. Just grab this. There's the forge ahead book that we needed. And we do have a zombie on us now. Uh, what about the mechanical part? Do you see any cardboard boxes? That would be our ticket. I mean, there's the working stiff tool truck. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Get out of here, Thomas. Or Michael Mouse, I should say. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, things are getting busy here now. It's also 2046. We probably need to think about just running for it at this point before Bo climbs up here and hits me. Whoop, or someone just knocks it out entirely. Here we go. That's empty. I've searched it before. Great. Uh, okay. We didn't get the mechanical part. We got the forge ahead book. We can make our own forge at some point. At this point, it's just time to run. Run, run, run. All right, actually, my speed, not too bad. I was able to lose the zombies in the playground over there. All right, we're heading back to the house. Okay, wood log and one duct tape and a forge. And how about we set that in there for now? Any food for me in here? Yep, a couple of baked potatoes, gonna dehydrate me further, but we have plenty of water now, F at least four now. And we have plenty of 762 now. I haven't fired a single shot all night long just because it's a death sentence with this many running zombies around here. Also doing pretty good on the nine mil. We could use a little bit of this tonight if things get hairy, but otherwise I'd like to save as much ammo as I can. It is 2055, the horde is almost upon us. All right, here they come. And getting a little touch of fire on the way up. I don't think it really does anything to them. I think that those fire traps, they're, they're pretty much immune to those things, but I still just like the idea of barbecuing my zombies a little bit. And it looks like we have um, uh, maybe four here currently. Okay, some climbers as well. Get down from there, please. Overall though, pretty manageable. They seem to be falling down in good order. And um, it, I like that they don't have any issues going up the spiral staircases. It makes things a lot smoother. We might actually see if we can build a base around spiral staircases. What do you think about that anyway? All right, time for some guns here. We got crawlers, we, we got a little bit of jank going on here. There we go. And from here, I don't know. I think we have like two zombies that are here still. Yeah, a couple girls. No, we, we got a mow down there as well. It's still on. Yeah, for sure. You know, we need to get that perk where like we can penetrate targets with the spear. That would be very nice, especially for a position like this. We should actually also kind of design the base in such a way that we can benefit a lot from the spear and the spear's perks. All right, conducting some minor repairs here. Nothing crazy so far. Get the wood on the back. They seem to be able to damage both sides, which is... Oh, that was looking a little rough. Uh, it's not the worst thing. Can I actually upgrade this as well? Sure, we can make those cobblestone. I just found some cobblestone earlier, so might as well put it to use, right? Are you guys like beating on the stairs down there? I don't know what they're up to down there, but can you notice the difference in difficulty from day one to day two? I mean, we had, what was it, three zombies last night? And tonight, uh, we've had like 15, I would say, at least. Nothing we can't handle. I think we could handle even more than this, but things are gonna start getting crazy around here very quickly. Look, we got a nurse over here from the hospital and she's burnt out. They're still rolling in, holy crap. This is, this is dramatic. I'm a little bit concerned now. How are we doing on repairs? Uh, we're doing okay, I think. Whoop, just yeah, accidentally upgraded something back there. No big deal. Gotta make sure that we're keeping our distance here. We got a really good reach with the spear. There's no reason to get up in the window and get smacked. I got smacked earlier. Didn't like it. And we have no first aid either, so <laughs> there's that. Oh, a loot bag. Grab that immediately. Nice. Uh, 
500 brass. Great. Oh, and they've broken something. They've broken the back set of bars on the bottom. There we go. Just get those upgraded. Quite a mess on the stairs here. Hey, I just leveled up. Level 5. Two skill points to spend now. And one more loot bag to loot. We still have some zombies around here, though. So I'll grab this. Hey, not bad in that one. Recog. And otherwise, we're just waiting for the rest to trickle up here. I am not going downstairs to get them. Oh, nice. I do have the recipe for goldenrod tea. So we can convert that water over and get something that's uh, better for hydration for us. Good, and then boil up that one water we just found. There we go, one and two, and it's all over. I do think that we're good. Okay, so we have several hours now to explore the town. We just, you know, we, we gotta be careful we can't go inside buildings, but we can search the exterior. Oh, just got an engine out of that, and I can scrap that for 30 mechanical parts, okay. We just did it. Oh, food. Yes, please. Chicken soup. Oop. Extra work light. Ah, oh, I love that I can turn the lights on. Really helps out. So tomorrow, I think the big mission is going to be we need to go and um, finish off all the quests for the tier ones for Trader Joel. That way we can get the bicycle and we, and, you know, we have some transportation. It was nice to have the lawnmower there for the first day or two just to kind of get around and get started. But, you know, we got to hunker down now for the long haul, which means transportation that does not involve gasoline, at least for a while. We just have to keep our fingers crossed that the virus settles down just a little bit tomorrow and things are slower and softer and we can actually get some work done. Okay, well that's a fair bit of supplies that I've pulled out of here. Still a lot of pallets around here with clay and such, but for now that'll do. I don't want to do any digging right now. Let's... isn't there... there's like a passing gas box or... oh! That's a main loot chest over there actually. I am definitely going to have that before it's all said and done. Pull you out. A screamer? What? Oh no, 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 no. I, I don't know what's going on right now. Why are there screamers out here right now? She hasn't screamed. Wow, okay, so that was that was really scary. I don't know why she didn't scream. Was she just a screamer that was kind of hanging out here somewhere? And sh she jumped out the window there. Yeah, she, was, she came from inside, right? I thought that was a nurse zombie. There is a nurse zombie over there. Okay, so that was just... Regular POI folk, okay. Uh, I was terrified there for a second that we were gonna die, basically. There we go. All right, we can sufficiently explore this, the, the upper area at least. Just get the spear out so we can see something. Yep, okay, working stiff tool crate. Are these cloth? Oh, these are big old cloth carpet rolls, nice. And inside the box, paintbrush handy land. Not what I was hoping for. Oh, 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 oh. We almost just made a very unexpected trip down there. Just try to break in from the side. Yep, all right, I woke him up. Oh, <laughs> I just scrapped that. Oh my God, my fingers, my stupid fingers. And oh, a couple Molotovs, Magnum Enforcer here. Ah, the bartering one. Okay, so uh, bartering with a 44 gun drawn gives you a 5% better deal. And technically this counts here the pipe pistol as a 44 gun. So make sure that I remember to have this drawn when we go back to see Trader Joel. Okay, and we're suddenly encumbered. We've gotten a lot of material out of this place. So let's head home. I'm gonna do some further cooking and such. And then um, actually, yeah, let me go drop this stuff off. And then I'm gonna hike over to this tier one clear over here. And that's where we'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. Anyway, my friends, Thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.